That was the first time I'd been that close to a gopher tortoise. I see him. He's way in there. They're really, really tough, stout little tortoises. I got him. Barely. Now, you would think that Coyote's a veteran, the way that he army crawled up to get as close as he did with that camera to those burrowing owls. It was, it was really impressive. It's great that there's some conservation work being done, that Jessica's a part of it, and hopefully other people will get involved as well and help uh, save this habitat from further destruction. Funny thing is, the one he actually got, he had to dive in. Um, okay, let's see if I can get this tortoise. Ready? Give it the college try. Right, it's good old college try. Ready? Good. And I thought he'd lost the tortoise. His like arm was all the way in the ground up to his shoulder. But I got him. I got him now. He ended up pulling off the 11th hour miracle. Wow! That is a big one. Look at him. And he ended up getting the tortoise at the end, which was pretty cool. It was the biggest tortoise we got today. And he says, just let me get back down there and do some work digging. <laughs> So that tortoise dropped quite a big log on Coyote, huh? Yeah, well he deserved it, didn't he? He certainly seems pretty healthy and strong. What a beautiful tortoise. Oh, I just, oh yeah, no. I was about to say. Oh no. Oh, look at that. I just, he just pooped all over my leg and I literally put my elbow right into it. Is it, is it all on my elbow? All right, maybe I better put him down at this point. I mean, for all the stuff he makes us walk through, a little bit of tortoise poop on him every now and then. I don't feel bad about it. Pooped on by a gopher tortoise. <laughs> uh, I love my job. So when I knew we were coming to the FAU Preserve and there was gonna be the chance to film burrowing owls, I had it in my mind how I was possibly gonna approach this animal. I bet you never knew that there was actually an owl species that burrowed underground. I think to approach the owls in a way that didn't intimidate them, to sort of crawl up really slowly to their burrows was just a great idea. I mean, he was probably six or seven feet away from them, you know, right in front of their burrow, and they were just kind of chilling, like, just looking around, looking at him, looking away, not a problem. I thought he was gonna make way too much noise. I didn't I didn't know he could be that stealthy. And he said he got some pretty amazing shots, so uh, I'm excited to see him. I had zoomed in on the one owl that we first saw when we went over into the field, and you know, I, I got my camera zoomed in on it, it was getting a really good shot, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere there appeared a second owl, and that just, you know, more than doubled my excitement. And then being able to zoom right in on their heads, see those beautiful yellow and black eyes, it was uh, it was a very cool experience. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.